Hi everybody and welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that you'll see right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also a bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press. It's called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive, so I don't want you to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll be in the know. Also found right underneath the video, there is that thumbs up and that's where you guys come in. If you enjoy the content and that I make so much of it, please take a second when you arrive to hit that thumbs up. It will turn blue, the number will increase and that's you helping True Ones get noticed on this huge platform. So I'm thanking you in advance for the thumbs up. Okay guys, this is really exciting. BoxyCharm, I did a couple of videos already today and I said to you it was going to be a day full of videos. They sneaked a new deal going on now called the Flash Sale. So if you haven't seen that, please check it in my videos down below. I go through all the products as well as share with you if I've had the opportunity to test them and I test a lot to be able to give you some advantage of which products to choose. So in the top there was a banner. And I said to you, I'm going to do a little bit more digging to get a little bit more information based on the pictures. And then in the interim, a couple of you wrote to me that your banner was something a little bit different. So what I did was I set up on my computer what I think the potential spoilers are going to be. And some of them have some colors and shades. So it's important that even if we're not correct in what I am assuming are the the sneaks, then at least you'll have the opportunity to be able to know what the shades are that you need. So let's get started with what I have set up on my computer. So I'm really not sure which box these spoilers are for. One of them uh, that showed up, there were three on. And usually when we get those spoilers, those are usually for the base box. However, the fact that other people got different spoilers and one of them was one that I knew of called the Item Beauty, which I shared with you, I'm really not sure which box these spoilers are for. So if there hasn't been any confirmation yet, and I don't like to assume, but I do know based on those pictures, those were our choice items in the past for the base box. But based on what the items are, they possibly could be premium. So like I said, I don't know, but based on the pictures, I wanted to get a little bit more information on them. So the picture was very, very blurry in reference to the Cover FX product. And the Cover FX product is, uh, I couldn't go on and find anything on the Cover FX website because Cover FX actually was bought out by AS Beauty. AS Beauty uh, buys companies and they bought Mali, they bought uh, Laura Geller, they also acquired, um, I think, Julep. And now from reading my beauty magazines, Cover FX has been their newest acquisition. So this uh, their website doesn't exist anymore but i went on derm store and i went on alta and i went on a bunch of places and there were a lot of different primers two of them had the white packaging on it but like i said if you look on your banner as well under the flash cell it's a little blurry i'm assuming it's one of their newest ones which would be the gripping primer so that's what i pulled up here so the the uh, cover fx gripping primer they're saying it is a firming gel primer that prepares the skin for the long lasting makeup wear they're saying this is a 38 dollars value so that i think is the first sneak peek the next one was the gorgeous palette from tress luce and this was something that i've had my eye on and based on the color combination i'm assuming that it is the la flor du mexico palette and they're saying this palette is a mix of 18 mattes and shimmers as well as metallic shades that are infused with the mexican blue aguave this is a perfect for spring palette and it features a keepsake removable mirror and the illustration by the artist uh, uh indy maverick and it says uh, something in Spanish. And then it says it travels through Mexico for their founder, Becky G. This palette serves as a reminder 
of her motherhood, the beauty flowers, and her family. So that is everything that's here. This is a $30 value. I had the opportunity in the add-ons to grab a quad, and I'm impressed with her shadows, so I'm excited that this is going to be a choice item as well. The next item that is a new brand to me is this A-A-V-R-A-N-I. And this was, they had a few that had this name on it, but I'm assuming again, it is this one. And this is a balancing restoring serum. This is a $60 value. And they're saying this is a gentle alcohol-free toning serum that clarifies your skin, removes toxins, and minimizes the appearance of pores and dark spots while restoring our natural moisture barrier. It's formulated with a clarifying calming ingredient like tea tree oil, cucumber extract, chamomile flowers, and witch hazel. It's also made without any mineral oil, parabens, sulfates, irritants, synthetic fragrances, or any animal cruelty. I'm assuming it's this one, and it, they're saying in the fine print that it's good for pore shrinkage, balancing your skin, as well as calming. This sounds really nice as well. So they gave us two items that are makeup and primer could be skincare or makeup it's how you look at it and the other one is this skincare product the other item that i wanted to make sure that you guys looked up because this is really important and they've been sneaking this for about a week now about item beauty like i said i'm not sure which box but i'm assuming it's going to be a choice item because this is their air hug concealer and it has medium to full coverage I, during Ipsy sales, had the opportunity to pick up in the add-ons this concealer, and it is beautiful. It also has really great coverage to it. So I'm really excited that I'll have the opportunity now to pick my shade and figure it all out because the shade that I got was a little bit too dark, but I wanted to test the consistency of the product so that if it ever became an opportunity in future choices that I would know about the product. And I'm happy that I did. So now I'll have the opportunity to check it out here. They also have it with neutral uh, undertones as well as gray, un uh, sorry, neutral undertones and warm undertones. And the way you know your undertone, just if you're not familiar, it's really, really simple. They say two things. One is that you check your veins on your wrist. If they are more blue toned, then you are cool. If your veins are more green, then they are, you are warm. If you have a good mixture of both, then you are neutral, which is what I am. They also say if you look good in silver jewelry, you're cool toned. If you look better in gold jewelry, then you are warm toned. I like wearing both. So to me, I'm sticking with neutral. So that is the other one that I really want you guys to take the time to look up. And it is called the Air Hug Concealer and the brand is Item Beauty. So it's really, really nice to be able to share this product with you guys. Cause like I said, I had the opportunity to try it and it is an absolute winner. The other item I was on the fence about, and like I said, it was through other people writing to me that they got a different banner and this Ciate London was the other item. I wasn't sure the color looked kind of pinkish to me so this is what I chose. This is their dewy blush. They're saying this is a glossy cheek tint but they also had highlighters that had uh, this type of packaging to it too. So I'm a little confused because it's based on the color of the product that you choose. This is what I'm saying. So here is this color here, which they're saying, you know, is a different color. So the packaging would be a different color. So I'm assuming that it is this one. And if you want to know more information, you can simply go on Seate London's website like I did. And the fact that there are four different colors here, then to me, this is why it would be a choice item. And here is the uh, picture of the up close on a fair skin, skin tone, on a medium skin, as well as a dark skin. And they're saying that these are the names of the colors. So we have coconut, papaya, watermelon, as well as pomegranate. So those are, like I said, we can check here. This one here they're saying is, let's see if I click on it, if it helps us. If I go to the first one here, then they're saying that this one is papaya. The watermelon one is this color here. The coconut one is that beige. And then the pomegranate is this color here. So just so you know, this is a dewy blush. It is, they're saying the next generation gel balm tint blush 
that is set to shake up then refresh our beauty routine it says gone are the days of a chalky powder blush with this ultra lightweight finish this is a dewy blush that leaves just a supple hint of color that you can apply to the cheeks blending it effortlessly into a modern glass like sheen it's formulated with natural extracts like this yuzuzu and dragon fruit and the blush brightens your base leaving your skin with an even and healthy flush of color and for an instant complexion reflush, apply two to three small drops onto your apples of your cheek and then blend upwards uh, on into the skin. So this is the other item that they mentioned. So those are all the potential sneak peeks based on those little spoilers, that banner that I saw on mine, and then the information that I received about the banner that others received on theirs. I'm hoping that helps a little bit in reference to what our possible customization choices will be for BoxyCharm. What is important is that choice day is April 11th, which is a Monday, and usually it opens around 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. More importantly, even if it's not, the, you should have and go into the ones that have the shades to make sure that if it is, then you are ahead of the game with choosing because that always takes more time when you see what the choices are and then you have to go to the website. So it's always better to do it ahead of time, which is what I do. And like I say, if I know something, I want you guys to know it as well. And that's it for now. But like I said, I have a lot of videos that are going to be popping up today because there's been a lot of releases here on April the 1st. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, that my your bell is on so that you will be notified. And make sure that if you miss those notifications, just simply go on to my page, check videos, and you will be able to see all the videos that I'm posting today. All right. Take care, everybody. Stay well. And I'll see you all again soon in my next video. Bye for now.